Sex trafficking is a problem in San Diego. It's tough, it's uncomfortable, but we need to address it and be aware of it. And during an age of misinformation about human trafficking throughout the country, our NBC7 Investigates team put together an incredible deep dive on the subject called Stolen. Here's my conversation with NBC7 anchor Monica Dean and NBC7 Investigates executive producer Tom Jones. Okay, Monica, Tom, Stolen is, is stunning. It, it's a tour de force. Um, it's incredible. And it's also sad because you can tell that we have a real human trafficking problem here uh, in the county. Monica, I just want to start with you. What made you tackle this issue? Danny, I've been reporting on this issue for many years, but I'm also a parent. I have three school-age children, and I felt like as I was interacting with the parents of my children's friends, they didn't get this issue. They didn't understand. They thought this was stranger danger. They thought this was because we're near a border. They thought this was a somewhere else problem. And so I just, it kept nagging at me as a journalist, what can I do? Can we do something bigger? Can we do something more to help people really grasp the situation so they can understand that this is happening in their communities and our kids' lives are at stake. Well, and Tom, talk to me about that because that jumps out of me immediately. Exactly. It's not stranger danger. It's not because we're the border. It's not taken, right? It's it, people manipulating kids online largely and in our schools, right, Tom? Right, exactly. And, you know, I'll be honest, when Monica first approached me back in March of 2019 and said, you know, this is going to be uh, one of our next humanitarian crisis uh, that we're all going to have to deal with coming up. I, at first, was a little skeptical. I was like, okay, you know, if this problem is really that serious and it's in our schools and it's that prevalent, there's going to have to be evidence of it. And then the more we got into digging and, and look, finding records and talking to survivors and advocates and even traffickers and sex buyers, um, it, it was apparent that no, yes, this is happening. Um, it's a very difficult topic. It's very uncomfortable, um, especially when we're talking about teenagers and, and young kids. Um, but since the internet and since you know everyone's on social media, uh, that's where predators have moved now. It's it's not in. Uh, you know, malls and, and strangers. It, it's people online trying to befriend you and manipulate you. Monica, I'm curious, what surprised you most when you were embarking on this journey? I think maybe just the scale of this problem. As you pointed out, one of the landmark studies done on this issue here in San Diego was a study, it's kind of known as the Carpenter Gate Study, by Point Loma Nazarene University, University of San Diego. It was funded by the Department of Justice. And those authors found that there are between three and 8,000 victims of human trafficking in San Diego every year. And that includes children. And we're talking about this online connection during the coronavirus pandemic when we're sending kids back to school online largely. And the data is now showing that internet crimes against children just in San Diego, the reports of those crimes has tripled since the coronavirus pandemic began. So we're talking about a lot of people. And, we're, and when we got that data that showed that there was evidence of exploitation happening in every school district or nearly every school district in San Diego County, that's what I thought people need to hear this because if they think it's somewhere else, if they can see data that proves this is in your neighborhood, then maybe they will wake up to this issue and realize that not only could this be a neighbor or a friend, this could be a child in their very own home. Tom, you know, it struck me, I'm, you know, a political reporter primarily, and you are tackling a subject of human trafficking in a time where there's a lot of political misinformation when it comes to sex trafficking and human trafficking. How did you grapple with battling that misinformation with, frankly, real news? Right. It was... It was a bit challenging, you know, but at the same time, it just shows that it was such an important time to get out facts um, because, yeah, you said it perfectly. It's been kind of hijacked the talking points and used, um, weaponized, and, and some would say, um, to, to start conversations when in reality, it, it's not really focused on what's happening. A lot of the talking points I've seen in that misinformation still goes on this belief of, um, you know, the border 
um, having a huge influence on this issue. When in reality, that study that Monica brought up, um, the Carpenter and Gates study found 80% of the victims here in San Diego County are domestic. Um, so I, I, think, I think that's just fueling more of these misconceptions surrounding the issue. And the, the blurrier it is, the harder it will be for us to kind of confront it. So I, I think it was an important time um, for the series to come out and hopefully we'll you know, put more facts out there. And if I could chime in about that topic as well, I think the good news is that people are caring about this issue. They yeah. may not fully grasp the understanding about what it really truly looks like, but like Tom said, I'm glad that now is the time that we put this forward because I think if people watch all seven episodes, they will come away with a new understanding and a new appreciation that this is likely not going to be someone grabbing your child off the streets. This is gonna be someone who befriends them, gains their trust, or is in a position of trust, and then exploits that in the worst way. Tom, Monica, thank you so much for your work. Please, everyone, watch Stolen. It's online. It's fantastic. It's also very compelling TV. Thank you both so much for your time. Thank you. And thanks to all the survivors who trusted us with their stories. And, and just, we really value what they have to say. And I think people will really learn from their experience. They are really the heroes of this story. Well said, well said. Thank you guys both. We'll be right back.